Even though cannibalism is definitely frowned upon, and for very good reason, there's a process in the body that is very linked to this term, but is exceptionally a very powerful thing that can be used in our body. And what am I talking about? I am talking about autophagy. Yes, if you've never heard of the word autophagy, that term alone means self-eating within the body. What this can do in our body is essentially get rid of disease cells, old dying cells, and renew and regenerate new cells in our body. With that being said, autophagy does have great benefits. However, there's been lots of information on the internet about autophagy, and sometimes it could be confusing, or it could be misleading, or sometimes, or don't know why autophagy is even beneficial. So I'm gonna talk about how to really kickstart autophagy, why it's so beneficial, what you need to do to be able to get started with this great benefit with autophagy. And we're gonna get started right now. Hey, what's up fasters? Dr. Legrand here, here for another fasting video. Here on this channel, every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we talk about either about fasting or alternative medicine, natural medicine, whatever it might be that people might have interest, but right now we're talking a lot about fasting. So if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos. As I mentioned before, autophagy is known as self-eating. This was discovered back in the 1950s, but really was not used until lately, back in 2016, where this term became more popular because of it winning the Nobel Prize, of finding that during a process of fasting, this can increase the levels of autophagy exponentially. The great thing about autophagy is there is a system-wide benefits of autophagy for every part of the body. And it's definitely something that we should definitely consider. So you should really consider kickstarting this. And that's what we are going to discuss of how can we kickstart autophagy with this great benefit that we can use on a daily basis. A scientific paper published in the Journal of Cell Metabolism showed that the failure of autophagy in, within the human body shows that it is closely associated with insufficiency of metabolic function. Studies have also shown that autophagy can help with high blood pressure, also heart rate in the long run, as well as other great benefits when it comes to our human body. This process can also improve our immune system, protect us against toxins, improve our DNA stability. It also can be useful for fighting against cancer or at least preventing it. So yes, I'm talking about all the great benefits of why autophagy. Have I convinced you yet? Do you think autophagy might be good for your health? Well, I think so if you have not been convinced. So you might be asking, okay, what do I do to induce autophagy? Or a better question yet is what are the best ways to induce autophagy and how do I get started? Scientists have found that this process in the human body that is activated through stressful conditions. And in most cases, it is through starvation. I don't really like using that word, but a lot of scientific journals liked using it, but really essentially through fasting. It's not starvation, it's fasting. So basically taking absence of food for time being, because what's going to happen is when you actually are not eating any nutrients, what happens in the body is what we call mTOR, which senses nutrients. So anytime it senses nutrients, it's going to deactivate autophagy or stop autophagy because there's nutrients. Anytime there's not nutrients, mTOR is stopped and AMPK levels are increased, which activate autophagy because it's like, okay, the body needs some kind of nutrients. So it's going to start destroying dying old cells or sickly cells to help regenerate new cells in our body. Now with this wonderful process, what happens, you know, of course, a membrane is usually created to start consuming these dying cells, but there's definitely ways to turn it on and turn it off effectively in our human body. The yes, due to what activates autophagy through a lot of scientific studies, they say through starvation, because that's the most stressful part of the condition to actually activate this process. But the most safest way is not through starvation, but through fasting, as I mentioned, for to kickstart it. Now, there is different methods of fasting to kickstart autophagy. And if you are new to fasting, one of the best ways of getting ready and prepped to start activating autophagy is through intermittent fasting. Now, real brief, if you don't know what intermittent fasting, I know a lot of my fans already know what this is and have heard this redundant, but if you're new here, intermittent fasting is basically just shorting your window frame. So you can always start with trying to eat in an eight hour window frame 
and eat for 16 hours and then you can increase that where you start you know having one meal a day that were you fasting for 20 hours and so on you can push it to 24 hours 36 hours of fasting that's a way to gateway to kind of get in by using intermittent fasting at first to open the gates of activating autophagy a study was done with amongst a bunch of Brazil people who did intermittent fasting. They found a correlation relationship between intermittent fasting and autophagy that actually could still be activated through doing just intermittent fasting where you're fasting for 16 plus hours. Now that does really depend a lot on what your previous diet was. Um, we do find a lot of times where autophagy can be deactivated or stopped is through things such as carbs. Um, fats uh, don't increase sugar levels as much, but usually you want to try to keep your carbs down low beforehand and after doing intermittent fasting in between. This can push you into autophagy levels at a faster rate versus having to do longer fast. Now, of course, longer fasts are going to be more of a guaranteed of getting into autophagy, doing things such as like 36 plus hours of fasting. Now, this particular study was actually more focused on how to use intermittent fasting to induce autophagy within cancer patients, and they did find some benefit. Now, of course, we do know that even though it did kind of help increase levels of autophagy, when you go through more hours of fasting, such as 36 to 48 hours, autophagy levels can increase up to 400% when you're doing 36, 48 hours of fasting versus just doing 16 hours of fasting with intermittent fasting. Now, apart from fasting or calorie restriction diets that may, can, possibly, if you're kind of doing more tell and one meal a day type of thing to activate autophagy, the other thing that can induce or at least have the efficiency of autophagy is through exercise. There's a lot of studies out there that have shown in an actual particular study that found that through exercise, not only did it help the, you know, with the health benefits that people can gain from exercise, but they did find that the efficiency of when autophagy would be activated increased more during exercise. Not saying that if you just exercise and didn't do any fasting, autophagy levels will be increased exponentially, but the efficiency. So when, for example, if you decide to exercise more often, more frequently, and then when you decide to fast, when you decide to fast, your efficiency of activating autophagy becomes more exponential versus if you were not to exercise. So that's what that study shows. So I always encourage doing exercise along with fasting that can increase levels of autophagy. Another study published in the Journal of Physiological Reports showed that the markers in muscles when you exercise actually autophagy was activated within the muscle cells. The study also showed that within skeletal muscle cells, when patients were actually exercising, they did find autophagy markers within the skeletal muscle cells versus people who did not exercise. So exercise, it can really activate the levels of autophagy, especially within our muscle tissue. And so it really does it not always have to require per se fasting uh, to activate autophagy, but of course it's going to increase exponentially. Autophagy is always somewhat happening a little bit in our body, but of course for a fasted state, it's going to increase exponentially to up to 400%, like I said before. While exercise, yes, can induce autophagy and it happens within the skeletal muscle cells, as that study showed, but it also can benefit throughout the whole body when you are exercising. There has been other studies that have shown that it can be activated when you do just exercise. Now, the third thing I'm going to talk about as far as how you can also kickstart with autophagy is using the combination of exercise and fasting. So what I mean by this, when you decide when you get into a good routine of fasting and your body gets adapted to it, so you have to be really cautious about this, especially if you have major health concerns, you do need to check with your physician. But if your body is up to it and healthy enough, you can really start implementing using fasting along with exercise. So what I mean by that? Well, you could simply do a 24, 36 hour fast and at the tail end, do some cardio or also some lifting kind of type of exercise to stimulate those levels of autophagy through that process. Not only that, but it also increases human growth hormones other things that can balance our hormones, as well as also tackle the insulin resistance, also reducing fat cells, so forth. There's so many different things that can benefit from doing the combination of fasting and exercise. But especially through autophagy, it really can increase those levels. 
So what do you guys think? Are you guys gonna start kickstarting with autophagy? Leave that in the comment section below. Are you already doing it? What are types of techniques, fasting techniques, or exercise combo that you're doing? Go ahead, leave that in the comment section below. I'm sure everybody in this community will appreciate it. And if you are new here and have not checked out any of our other videos, go ahead and check out this video right here where I talk about how autophagy is measured, how to measure it, and then of course over here you can check out our other playlist on autophagy. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos. And until next time, this is Dr. Ryan signing out, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.